maybe we can try it and I'll show you a trick so it doesn't tear your paper. So to trace this circle, remember we're not painting on the circle, we're just going to use this as a template. A template's like a stencil and I'm just going to trace all the way around. If you have trouble with this, you could ask somebody at your table. I think my trouble right now is just my pencil. I need to make sure that it is right. <laughs> All right, so then next you're just going to um, use a straight ruler, a straight edge. You might not have a ruler, you might have a straight edge. Yes? Do we have to use like one of the, one of the big ones? No, there's different types of uh, rulers that you can use. If you want to make sure that your, your lines are straight, what you could do is make one straight line, and then I'm measuring it at three inches. And if you do that in a couple of spots on your paper, it'll be a perfect three inch um, width. And your stripes can go vertical like mine are. Your stripes can go horizontal. Sometimes you can just use the width of your ruler to make a nice straight line. No, if I had enough, I, I could, please stop that. And you can overlap if you would like to. You could even just kind of eyeball it to see how it goes and erase what you don't need. I don't have a lot of erasers on the backs of my pencils, but you know that you can always get an eraser in the pencil bin. And if we need more pencils, you can always just grab them from... The pencil bin over there, there's erasers, there's an eraser bin as well. Okay, so that's a good start. If I feel like I need more, I can always collage paper on top or I can paint over my dried paint. Quinn? It looks like an Easter egg with overalls. Easter egg with overalls, kind of. It, kind, it might be, right? So because we're painting on a circle, and we're going to tear, tear out, cut out the edge. Go ahead and flip it once you're done with your design and write your name and your class code. You guys have been so great so far. Okay. And to make sure you get a nice edge on your painting, you're going to think about what colors you want to use. And I kind of really like these four warm colors. I feel like it's a really nice harmony to use warm or cool colors. Now you don't have to. That's just my personal preference. So I'm going to go ahead. Remember, this is messy paint, so we're all sharing. So make sure that you clean out your brush really well and dry it off before you get a new color. If you have a color that is pastel, you're going to have better coverage, okay? Uh, if you need to mix colors, I can give you a little palette and you can scoop one color out, rinse your brush, scoop another color out, rinse your brush, not even rinse your brush, but you can mix on your own palette, okay? Um, so to do that, you're just going to, I like to do it like this to where, so I can already tell this pink is going to need two coats. How do you think I can tell that? Quinn. Uh, from, you can like see the paper through it. You can see the paper through it. This is a really nice piece. If you haven't created a bunch of art in here, um, and you do want to put something in our spring art show that's going to be very soon. Um, you might want to do a really good job on this. We're going to have an art show, yes. Of course, yeah, you could always put your free paint as long as you don't copy like a cartoon or something and it's your own artwork. Sure. Okay. So I know for a fact I'm going to have to do a second coat. If I have a very thin line like this, I probably will go to the paintbrush drawer and find a thinner paintbrush. Do you guys understand? Okay, if I have a large area, you can get a different paintbrush. You could get a thicker paintbrush, right? Jackson, please have a seat. He's fine right there. Why do you think I'm going to outline first? Yes. Yeah, it kind of gives you a border. It doesn't get mixed in with another color. And I'm definitely going to have to do another uh, coat with this orange. Uh, another alternative is to lighten the color that you have. So in order to do that, you need some white at your table. 
If your colors are a little mixed up, we did have kindergarten before this. And you can paint the white right on in. Just mix it. Do you, do you guys understand what we're doing here? Yeah. Yeah. Any questions? No. Are we cutting paper out today? No. 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 Is our goal to finish today? Yeah. Our goal is to get as far as we can without rushing. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and get started.